You think Islam should get a title shot off this win? Um, I, I don't think so, Ariel. To be honest with you, uh, he got the win streak, but uh, look at his resume. You know, uh, uh, he didn't fought any top guys, any top contenders. I definitely think him the best lightweight ever that step on the octagon. Two wins in a row on that division. So I, I deserve some, you know, I think the corner fight makes sense for me. The title fight makes sense for me. Let's see how, how, how things play out. After defeating Moicano at UFC 272, RDA requested a title shot or Conor McGregor. Like what? Would it annoy you if he got the title shot before you? Yeah, it would, you know, but, you know, I, I don't, I don't think, uh, uh, I don't think he deserves the title shot right now. He needs to fight top, uh, three top five guys. Uh, doesn't matter if he had 10 win streak, look, the guys will he fought. So I don't want to take a uh, uh, top down on nobody, but uh, we got to be realistic. Is he delusional? It's like, sit down, kid. Let the adults talk. RDA claims that it makes sense for him versus Connor to happen. But of course he's going to say that. Coming from his perspective, I'm sure it does make sense. Coming from the UFCs and Connors, not so much. Connor still has better options. Like Jorge Masvidal, the winner of Chandler versus Tony, and as ridiculous as it sounds, Charles Oliveira. Connor being the draw that he is, Danica absolutely just shoehorned him in for a title shot. The whole narrative that Connor versus RDA was once scheduled but then never happened isn't a big enough storyline to really remake that fight. Considering that RDA was only going to get that fight in the first place because he just happened to be the champion, what's the value of rescheduling this fight over the other options? There wasn't enough of a storyline there. As for RDA requesting a title shot, that is pretty delusional and out of touch. Since losing four of his last five at welterweight, with his one win being against a lightweight guy in Kevin Lee, who is no longer in the UFC, RDA is only 2-0 since his lightweight return against two short-notice opponents who he went five rounds with and couldn't finish. Meanwhile, Islam Makachev is on a 10-fight win streak, and his last two opponents were short-notice fights who couldn't get out of the first round. We know that ranked wins matter more than winning streaks, but who is RDA beat? that was ranked. Paul Felder, a guy who had come out of retirement to fight him on short notice. Islam Makachev beat Paul Felder, who Dan Hooker beat in a very close fight, and took him out in the first round, making it look like the easy fight it was. So while Islam Makachev probably needs to win against a top five fighter, so does RDA. And Islam at least has the winning streak in the recent record to claim a path to a title long before RDA does.